different players there, and Delete is also in there for the Protoss. So uh, we'll jump right into this game. Game number one here, actually it's a best of one, so it's only going to be game number one, is uh, going to be on Daybreak here. As I said, um, if you, as always, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if there's anything that I've sort of pointed out wrong, um, or, or, you know, those kinds of things, uh, please do uh, post in the chat. It's all good. You report a win by talking to VB Rhubarb in the chat for uh, in-game. So uh, you'll need to go there and do that if you have won a game already, Mr. Priest. Um, and, of course, my PC is frozen because ever since I lost my SSD drive, um, StarCraft 2 on the first load takes so, so long to load up and it actually hurts my brain. So, <laughs> there we go. Alright, we finally got it into it. And we'll have a look at this PVZ. Oh, oh, I totally forgot. Hang on, I gotta put a tactician on as well. Let's do this. Let's draw some arrows, all these kinds of cool things. Do, 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 do. I maybe should have done that once the game had actually finally loaded, but whatever. They're all good. Come on. There you go. All righty then. Starting at the top right hand side is our yellow Protoss player. He is a tragic hero. And we'll see how he goes. And down in the bottom left hand side as our purple zone player for IVN, it is Nova X or Novax. Whichever one. We'll, we'll go with Novax, I've decided. Um, just because that sort of is a little bit easier to pronounce. Yes, of course, uh, Tragic Hero from TCP. First time I saw him was in one of the, uh, the TCP clan wars against, uh, I'm gonna guess and say it was MGG. Really liked the way that, um, you know, Tragic Hero played. We'll see how he goes here. Of course, Daybreak, a uh, very common map. We always see, um, you know, lots of uh, longer games in this particular uh, map, just because it is one that does promote a little bit of macro play, of course, going to two bases and, you know, just sort of getting prepared for all sorts of, uh, you know, longer term kind of things. Hopefully the stream's not lagging. I've, I've got no issues on my side there, Dominator. It should be, uh, it should be all good. If there's any sorts of problems, um, it might be Twitch. I actually had some really annoying issues with Twitch yesterday. Um, but uh, either way, we're in the game, and of course Tragic Hero is scouted out. No early pull from Novak, so there's going to be uh, no issues for Tragic Hero to deal with. Of course, he's free to continue to probe up. He's not even going to go for a forge on 13 or even 14 or anything like that. Just going to go straight for the Nexus. Of course, he's going to sit down here as well and make sure that the hatchery is blocked off. Yeah, it might just be, it might be a tiny, like I've dropped 18 frames and that was all, so hopefully not really too much, but um, yeah, if it, if it continues on and there's big issues, uh, make sure you post in the chat because I uh, should be able to catch that and fix that up. But as we said, Nexus first here from Tragic Hero, going to throw down that forge in just a momento. Drones coming out trying to get the hatchery down, but not going to happen. The probe is going to sit there as long as possible to try and uh, delay that hatch from going down. Getting a little bit low on the health there. Is he going to put a pilot down? May try to. No, just still going to juke and jive away from the drone there. But of course, the drone uh, that went to the third base has already put a base down there. A tragic hero, yep, I was going to say, you should just have a quick scout of the third, just to double check that that is there. But uh, given the delay on that hatchery, it um, is quite a while for that to go down. Either way, tragic hero will know that the third base is there, and there, that uh, he is definitely free to continue on with his uh, standard sort of tech path. There's no need to go crazy on the cannons or anything like that. He's got one gas going up inside the main, so... Things all pretty standard, as you would expect from a Daybreak game. It's, you know, it's kind of rare to see uh, cheesy stuff from either of these races in, in a PvZ um, on this particular map, just due to the long rush distances. Of course, from time to time, you can see things with cannons just down the back of, uh, of the third base, of course, just sort of down in these, uh, sorry, the, the natural, just in, in these sorts of areas here. That can occur sometimes, but uh, not too often. And of course, from a Zerg perspective, you don't often really see Zerg players uh, likening to, you know, pick up a, a very quick natural and then try and just do two base shenanigans. So, 
Um, we will see that a zealot's going to come out here. A couple of links trying to chase after this probe, but the probe is uh, running back to the defense of that zealot, and the zealot hacks up one of the one of the zerg links, and will be able to uh, chase after that one and just try and maintain some sort of semblance of map control for the time being. Of course, once the uh, the next unit comes out, in fact, he's gone for he's gone for uh, double zealots there, so that's quite interesting. And of course, we'll keep an eye on what tragic hero is up to here. Still very uh, very curious that he's only gotten that one gas for the moment. I'm thinking he might try and go for a very quick third expansion. Looks like he has uh, just sent that zealot down to check out what's going on at the third base. Having a look around to see if there are any strangely positioned uh, lings out on the map or anything like that. We'll find one ling just bouncing around at the top side of the map. Looks like a stalker is also coming about for Tragic Hero as well. Gonna try and get rid of that zergling if they can. One more shot from the stalker, but this guy is going to escape and he's going to be pretty happy about that. So for the moment, still uh, Nova X has not really scouted out what's going on. It still has no idea that there's no second gas just yet. Obviously, with uh, the probe now coming down to the third, it's going to have a little bit of trouble with that ling. There should be actually the probe should win that fight. There you go. Turns around and says, "Whoa." Okay, no he doesn't, alright, didn't win the fight, unfortunately not quick enough, and as we can see it looks like Tragic Hero has got his own little problems on the opposite side of the map, Links have come out here for uh, Novax and he's going to have to try and catch some of these Zealots, one of the Zealots getting quite low there, as we can see the Links also getting quite low with uh, the Double Stalker and the Double Zealot here, quite a lot of pressure from Tragic Hero, and this is, this is a particular, particular tactic that I have seen him do before, where you just throw out these early units, get a very quick expand down at the third base, Base and uh, just sort of force the Zerg to sit there on a, at a slightly lower drone count than you would normally see them at. And in fact, it looks like Novax has just decided it's go time. Back at home for him, we do have a Baneling Nest as well. No population really on that third base, so he's definitely just going to go to town with this. And it looks like Tragic Hero is going to need some sort of protection against the Banes because there are a lot of Banes morphing in. 11 in total. Link Speed is not done and is nowhere near done. He hasn't even started Link Speed, so it looks like he's just going to try and go in here with a very low, uh, with a, sorry, with a very high Baneling count. Stalk is coming out trying to uh, soak up some of the damage, but the probes have been uh, a big hit here for those Banelings, both literally and figuratively. Two Stalkers still remain. Take down the pylon. There is a second cannon building, but that's not going to help out at all because there is no pylon to power it. Tragic Hero desperately needs to either wall off that uh, front door again or get some sort of unit control out here again, but there is really no, tr no chance of him doing that. So many links have come around. He's also cleaned out the third base, so there's definitely gonna, not going to be any sort of uh, quick third for him. Looks like the probes are getting hacked apart inside the main as well. Link speed has finally just started, but bear in mind, guys. So um, the links are going to start just streaming around, and that is going to be a tragic hero, despite an attempted, uh, a, a very uh, good attempt at a quick third base, but unfortunately for him, um, was not able to capitalize it, just perhaps a little bit behind on uh, where he wanted to be.